Well, it is Thursday, and on Thursdays, we Thursdage. Sorry we're a little late, but, you know, we're here at Gen Con, and I've got special guests. And would you believe that I am embodied? I pulled out my favorite, my most favorite skin suit, the one that fits, shows off my physique. Oh, look at this. We got people in here, Comflux Visitor. I can't make, make it to Gen Con this year for safety reasons, but I send my love and hope everyone has fun and stays safe. I agree. Can you tell me how we sound, friends? I need this person to go away. Uh, Duke is here. Hey, Duke. Good to see you. We are actually having a really great con. Um, I know we've got some other folks hanging out, wondering where we've been. It's just Gen Con, Gen Con, Gen Con all the way. Uh, as noted, we have, uh, you know, your good friend and mine, Malcolm Shepard, but I'm really excited because we have got somebody you have never talked with. Somebody who we have worked with for some time on some great projects and is hanging out with us on the show floor. And I was like, you know what? We, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. I appreciate that. Um, good. Oh yeah. Yeah. You like that. Good. All right. Good. Thank you, dude. Um, now we're also going to test that with our guests. Let me do this. I'm going to drop modesty shield. I'm going to introduce our pals just as soon as I find the button. What did I do here? And uh, do, 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 do. here we go. There we are. We are live. Hey, uh, thanks everybody for hanging out and waiting for us. I appreciate that. Uh, as you, we go through the program, you um, you might kind of hear some other stuff in the background. Someone's going to come up inevitably and say, Malcolm, tell me about... That'll just happen. Yeah. Um, but now, so we're here with uh, Skylar Manon. And do you call her Sky? Sure. Okay. Sorry. Right. Now, skiff, can call you skiff. <laughs> not, not that one, but Skylar Sky. You're like Skylar Sky. Yeah, it was Sky, but not Skiff. Uh, and of course, you see Malcolm over here in the corner. But I want to kick it off with um, Skylar because, okay, so Skylar, you you have a very, you play a very important role in the publishing of, well, I mean, tabletop role play games. Now, I'm looking at your CV here, and it says copy editing, proofreading, sensitivity reading, and rules analysis. That is so like incredibly important sort of categories in the space. And now, do you find that you get an opportunity to really talk about the stuff that you do? Uh, like outside of my business meetings or like industry stuff? Not right. really. Well, um, tell us what you've done for Kareem Rooney. So, I mean, basically everything you just read. Yeah. So primarily I'm going to do editing or you know, proofing kind of the last stage of the process. It yeah. You know, after it's already been laid out, that's like the final thing before it goes to production. That would be proofing. Um, and then editing would be essentially after the author and developer you know, prepares that yeah. and that gets sent, but it hasn't been laid out yet or anything like that. So, so you're seeing pretty, like the raw stuff. Yeah, it could be like a Word file or something like that. So pretty raw text. So yeah. that's going to be focusing a lot more on making sure everything flows well, the ideas are clear. Um, as an editor, a big thing is you don't want to change the author's voice. Like that's a uh, big yeah. thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have you move just a little closer to the mic. This oh, is sorry. such good yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, you guys can hear me. Yeah. Um, but a key thing, you, you, the core is you want to help the author essentially say what the author was intending to say right. as, as much as possible. That's interesting. So let me let me unpack that for just a bit because working with authors and not in the um, in, in that way, but sitting down and having a conversation with them um, is is interesting, especially at different at points of the project, because at you know the beginning it maybe isn't quite as crunch time, but at the end when they're like, here's the finished thing that needs to be proved, uh, are do you find have you worked on projects where you've seen this piece and you saw that piece and they are, how different are they? And wh at what point is it more stressful, you know, from the Whether team? Whether, oh, here? doing, whether the edit or the proof? Yeah. It can depend what, like, comes up in the project. Okay. So let's say, just to say, like, a blanket statement of this is more stressful than that, that would be tough to say. Because I've had some projects where it was, kind of depends on the writer or whatever we're working on. And it's like very smooth. Yeah. Like it's already in a very in a very solid space. 
um, it's you know minor tweaks and things like that that you catch and things like that. But yeah. otherwise, it's, it's very ready to go. Yeah. Um, and then you know sometimes I'll I'll get that with editing and the edit is like the author has just Pristine. done a wonderful job. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean you work with so many people like you know who have been doing this forever. You know Malcolm has produced so much stuff and it's you know, yeah. wonderful. And so there's not as much hands-on stuff like where you really have to get into it. Yeah. And then sometimes I get projects where the author might have done something, but it doesn't really come across great. Um, so that's kind of where like my sensitivity reading and stuff comes into play. Uh, making sure that, you know, when I look at it, I'm always looking at it from like a, you know, who is going to be playing this game, right? We yeah. want it to be accessible. We want it to be inclusive. Yeah. Um, well, and that's interesting too. And I feel like sensitivity reading as a as a profession, as a skill, is is incredibly. It was needed some time ago, but yes. right? kind of a new. Kind of a new it's kind of new yeah. though, right? And and so, what do, are your experiences that people do? They find you before they need you, or do they find out that they need you and then they find I, you? <laughs> I think a lot of these big companies have gotten to the point where they've kind of maybe been burned a right. little bit yeah. because they produced something because they didn't realize it and then they got feedback and they're like, oh yeah, we really need somebody to do that. So nowadays it's like they intentionally seek me out or they you know they want that. Yeah, done. yeah. Um, but like in some of my other projects I've done, um, you know, it's like looking at old content from like the 80s. Oh, you know, some wow. Of these, you know, games go That's back. interesting. Right, right. So, yeah. I mean, back then we had, you know, we Mm -hmm. Set a lot of stuff, different and things. Yeah. It's just a different world. Yes. Right. So modernizing that stuff is is a pretty big deal. It's really important for that your modern audience. That is really fascinating to me because I think that there are a lot of people who presume that because the, in the time that we're in, they forget what kind of went on yeah. in the past. You know, just even uh, subtle things could be just incredibly yeah. you know offensive, and uh, we just didn't think in those terms. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. I think also uh, there was a lack of cultural integration. Yes, and absolutely. So absolutely. Uh, often, you know, you might, I mean, me, you know, someone from Canada, I'm not going to know all the context of what I'm reading. And But when the intention is coming from somewhere in the US, and there's an idiom or something, right? It might have a totally different impact. Yes, right? that's important. And that's, yeah, yeah. Like that's still present, but it's less common than it was because we have an online culture where we're just talking to each other. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think too, authors are just exposed, inundated with all kinds of different media from all different yeah. times and sort of eras. And so I, I could imagine every once in a while something slipping in or picking up something and not necessarily knowing the full kind of yeah. tale of where it might have come from. But yeah, that's interesting. Um, what projects have you worked on for Green Running? Um, a lot of the agents and stuff. So yeah, yeah. I've worked a lot with Ian on the Expanse. Nice. So like Ships of the Expanse and Beyond the Ring and a lot of that stuff like that. Nice. Um, I've worked a lot on Steve Kenson's work. So I haven't touched Beans and Masterminds. I haven't done that. But in terms of the agents and stuff, so a lot of Blue Rose oh, I've worked yeah, on. Yeah. Um, I did work with um, Freehold stuff on Mountain stuff. Yeah. Um, Awakens. Awakens. Yeah. Now, that, does the switch in genre um, make a difference in your when you're doing sort of sensitivity stuff, or is it like do you have a barometer that's like, well, I better ratchet up my my filter, or I guess the nature of some genres could be a little more, I guess you could say, edgy. Yeah, like yeah. something like cyberpunk. I mean, it's kind of just yeah. pushing the limits a little more. Yeah, versus yeah. something like Blue Rose is very, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's very beautiful and, and intentional serene. and very, yeah, it's yeah, intentionally yeah. pushing a lot more inclusive message. That's right. Like that's that's like right. One of the big pushes of Absolutely. Blue Rose. Absolutely. Um, Inclus yeah, inclusivity is is a big part of the of that. So it would, and I mean, yeah. obviously, it, it still needs to feel very approachable. And to anyone, yeah, yeah. no matter the genre. But yeah, I mean, that voice. <laughs> Sorry, the, the announcer is Yeah, right. yeah. Um, real quick, I'm going to say this. Uh, uh, Temp asked the question, are you going to reveal anything new at Gen Con? Any new projects besides the besides the age of yeah, like, and Masterminds? Well, um, yeah, right. Um, uh, no. Well, we've got, uh, we got fifth season printed. That's really awesome. I know, right? I'm embodied. I like that word. He's like, eek, bodies. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. What um, is this thing that we're seeing on the internet? Yeah, exactly. What you can't see here is that he... Troy has really t chosen a great skin suit. 
It's got it's it's fantastic. It's smooth. All modern aesthetic. It uh, is. Yeah, we went through put, some it sensitivity. It did indeed put the uh, lotion yes. on the skin. Yes, and what you At don't no see. At no point did it get the hose. No, yeah. not again. Oh. Did not require. It. <laughs> I did not require it. Not twice. Not require um, it. Uh, maybe later tonight. But you know, I've also what you can't see is like those little wacky arm guys. I have a tube that's keeping me inflated. So. Never mind any noises you might hear. It's all part of the deal. No gravy. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, I'll hold the fifth season and we can talk a little bit about it. Um, yep, here it is. This is, uh, woo. And uh, yeah, it's up here. Um, how much is this? Nine ninety five. Nine ninety five or nothing. Yes. Or, or nothing, nothing if what? Well, if you uh, follow up on this special offer, Troy, and that offer is if you pre-order the fifth season core and uh and then you come with proof of pre-order then we give it to you we just give it to you yeah that's nice uh if you are at gen con do me a favor and stop by and say hi uh i know not right this minute um and wait until we're gone then come on by <laughs> um yeah it's such a bargain thank you stan um it's really it's a, honestly a bargain at any price um, but we've got the books. We've got uh, their Eminem reprint stuff here. Now, yeah. folks have been saying, but what? But, but, but my reprints, they're coming. They're in the mail. And what will happen is the minute you say it is the minute it arrives. So uh, say it to yourself five times. And then if it's not there yet, uh, say it another five times. You're, it's coming. But if you didn't do the pre-order, there are some here you can pick up at a different price point. But yeah. our friends who uh, are participated in that, um, uh, who's backer kit? Was it backer kit? or which uh the m m reprint oh yes uh they got a special price they did yeah yeah they times they are a changing because they got in there and you know what <laughs> i'll give it to you that is yes. entirely possible with some other things too right like i'm not sure what the pricing is going to be for cthulhu awakens compared to oh it's the, uh, yeah price. yeah but uh but you know we don't do it because we want an extra hot tub on our yeah our, uh, yeah, our the uh, Ronin mansion giant green Ronin, Ronin mansion, mansion yes. limo a yeah. mansion on a limo with a hot tub yeah We're that's our crazy. aim uh no not because of that but just because everything is more expensive now David Bullock's asking that. about the Dragon Age reprint update and it is we've got it here we got it we got it, it. We got it here it. and for people who um are waiting for it it should be on the way right it, it, yeah it, yeah Oh, there. So there was a question, that earlier question about besides Age and m and Yeah. Are there any other projects? Well, we did talk about Swords of the Shadow Planet yeah. the other day. And uh, yeah, I got drafts in for that and I have nothing more to say about it. <laughs> just have to wait. He's a cruel, cruel man. Uh, I know that there are people who are absolutely stoked and want to hear more about it. I'm going to keep working on him whittling down his will until he comes and hangs out with us mm -hmm. uh, to talk about Swords of the Shadow Planet. I'm excited about it. Yeah, It's not necessarily an age thing, but this is kind of a, you know, we'll talk about this Gen you, Con, let's talk about all kinds of stuff. You can play a Neanderthal in it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and there are giant bears. Uh, Duke is asking, are those printed quick starts uh, fifth season or bigger preview versions of the latter? If the latter, PDF? Uh, if the latter, are, that's the printed quick start. Yes. Yeah. Not a bigger preview, but I'm excited that you're excited to see something like that. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Age Creators Alliance update. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to be at some point um, having a very secret behind closed doors meeting with some friends that are here, other folks that want to participate in the ACA. We are working with uh, Drive Through RPG um, has our updated files, um, and they're ready to, to. They're going to incorporate it. They kind of process. We're kind of in a line, and so we can't really jump mm. in. But that being said, I know that there are some people who are anticipating um, receiving a copy of those rules, and you'll get them very soon, um, right in the midst of uh, getting that information out, uh, Gen Con happened. And so <laughs> uh, you'll get that, and we'll make sure that you've, um, uh, that my, the whole point of that is to share your, to get your thoughts into the mix. It's a very simple change. Um, it, the rules are actually much more simplified for the license, uh, and I think you'll be very pleased. So we'll make sure to get that in your hands shortly. And speaking of receiving rules, what a segue. Um, if you backed the Cthulhu Awakens Kickstarter mm -hmm. uh, and all your stuff got locked in correctly, then your PDF, your preview PDF of the game, 
uh, your backer PDF should be winging its way to you. So Duke says, great. Just opened the Cthulhu Awakens preview and I'm delving into that. Yeah. Nice. So nice. that's the full game. Yeah. It's not necessarily going to be the final PDF to sale or the one that's going to be used because there are a couple of things that I think Cal wants to get just right. Oh, so yeah, yeah, tweak that right. art a bit. And... There's nothing wrong in it. It's just that he wants it to be, right. he wants it to kind of achieve a next level with some of the stuff in it. Nice. Um, ah, so, Stan got his. Great. But it's the full game. John asks, uh, hello, how is the event? It's a blast. We're having a lot. We're, we're definitely having a lot of fun. Yeah, it's massive, and you know it's Gen Con for sure. Um, it is, but back it's fun. Back in full swing. Yes, sir. After, after COVID, it's back in full swing. Yeah, it is. It is back in full swing. Eighty-five thousand sure. estimate. I was told. Eighty-five thousand. Wow, that's awesome. Um, that's huge. I didn't realize it was that big. Yeah, that's bigger than the town I live in. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot. So. That's a lot. Um, and it's great. I and, mean, you know, I love coming here. I love, you know, you you see the people that you always see, and then you forget, like, you, uh, you, the year goes by, you forget about your other friends. You're like, oh, my God, uh, good to see you. I mean, it's like 100,000 folks. I am in body. You hear me. Good to see you. You'll hear me. I'm, I'm sorry, brother. You know I love you deeply. I've just you will butcher your name. Guillerme. Guillerme. I know it's bad. I'm oh, sorry. Let me see. Oh. Guillerme. Again. Okay, you know what? Now, uh, what is it? Is it Guillaume? Oh, it's Guillaume. Yeah, it you Guillaume? know, of course is it is Guillaume. Guillaume. Is it Guillaume? Oh, suit. Uh, Leave it to the sensitivity reader you to know get what? us there. It's Turns because I'm in bodies. America. My yeah, French that's pronunciation a good question. is being corrupted. I think it's, Forgive us for being American. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I just immediately, if something happens to me, like I freeze when I'm like, I'm like, it's it's Malcolm. Yes. <laughs> Shepard. I'm not sure we have a comb here. We do. Oh, we do. Yeah, right over there. I do believe that we refer to comb as the sexy Irishman. Is that right? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Stay away from this camera. He's doing something off camera that we probably couldn't do on camera. Um, yeah, it's closer, he says. <laughs> our our uh, <laughs> pronunciation is close. Getting there. Yeah, we're yeah. getting there. So we're just going to, for the rest of the program, we're going to actually just try to attempt to pronounce our friend G. Kahu. I'm sorry. It's a I know beautiful it's, name. We're sorry. We're just it, inadequate. It is, it is yeah. beautiful to look at. When it comes out of my mouth, not <laughs> beautiful. And that's my fault, and I'm a monster for it. Um, let's see, I'm not going to reveal my real name to be murdered by embodied Troy. Wait, I Thorny isn't your real name? Dookie? That's not it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh so <laughs> uh, listen, um, it's going to be a bit of a short little jaunt into our brains, but we are going to, we have live streams planned for tomorrow. Uh, what is today? Thursday? Wait. Oui. We, that's right, Thursdays, that's right. Uh, that's the only way I know day what day one. of the week it is. Yes. G-Man, we'll call him yeah. G-Man. Uh, we also have, uh, yeah, we have uh, Friday, we have Saturday, Sunday? Yes. Uh, but not Monday. No. So we're gonna live stream all of those days and it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna pull uh, Chris Pramus on stream. We've got some other friends like uh, Jonesy's here. We've got some um, other folks. I'm just gonna play this game, Vaughn. What is that, Vaughn? Am I saying something? What? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm <Our> interested <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah, so uh, totally real, dude. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, totally, <laughs> totally real. Um, okay, but yeah, so here, do me a favor. Is there something you want to see? Is there something you want to talk to that's here? We've got, uh, oh, we'll do, we've got mutants and masterminds. We're going to do like a mm -hmm. Muma free. Mm -hmm. Or a Mumasa, or, or a Mumasa, so so yeah, Mumasa. that's that's got a better mouthfeel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but we also just want to hang out and have fun. Um, we're also going to do like uh, you know we're just going to grab random people who are in the booth and interview them about all of their life story and uh, make them tell us all their all their good oh, secrets. Must have missed it earlier. Maybe announcing yeah exactly. Maybe announcing a new game like yeah. All right, so we've got to do this just for temp. Mm. Uh, now, temp, do you for tempo, temp, T, 
uh, or temporary 67315 because you've been that for a long time and that might be a lie. Not so, temp not so temporary. Uh, is it in the plans to release any more books from The Expanse? Yes. We, oui. yes. Um, Soul System. Soul System. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the mouthfeel is important, dude. You're absolutely right. Uh, but yeah, do not a great question. And, um, and it's a hey, system, soul system. Got to get that goal. <laughs> so, I like that. Yeah. Comes Every, like a, an audio <laughs> of Troy singing. Uh, the best hits. Yeah. The best hits of disembodied Troy. Yeah. Embodied for one night only. Singing the hits. That's a hot ticket. That is a hot that. ticket. Yeah. Now, I know that there's been a request that I disembodied on camera. I'm afraid I cannot, primarily because it's unpleasant and um, uh, upsetting. And so, yeah. Uh, I do want to say to everybody again, finally, um, what I was going to say in, in closing uh, we love you thanks for hanging out thanks for coming by and saying hi um, we're having a blast at Gen Con again if you're here come by and see us we're at booth 801 I believe it is 801 yeah. that's right just between uh, I and J the Utah area code. when you're coming that's in right. through <laughs> the right. Hoosier corridor and you look to your left you'll see us that's right that's yeah. right yeah just uh, really almost equidistant equidistant between I and J yeah. well not really actually but but close enough uh Come, come say hi. Uh, we'll give you a fist bump. Um, we will give you the business and uh, and just talk shop. We'd love to yeah. see you. Yeah. Right. And we've got lots, so much stuff here too. Yeah, like, we do. Like um, a lot of stuff that we haven't had back in a while. And yeah. a few little surprises. And like, we're doing game demos. Like we have the proto molecule dice. Yeah. The expanse that oh, were yeah, previously right. Are you kidding me? Yeah. We run out of yeah, they're previously yeah. Kickstarter exclusive, but we have them here now. I'm we'll sell go, them to you. I'm gonna go steal them. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll sell them to you. That's awesome. I'm glad that we do, honestly, because people really want those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Unfortunately, so we're out of Mars right. Dice, but we do have uh, Proto Molecule and uh, Earth and OPA. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what else we have? Uh, you should ask oh, for it. Okay. Someone dropped yeah. them off. I don't know oh, if you can yeah. see it. Oh, yay. Belt Belt you know I'm not a, an accents guy, so I'm not going to try, but... Uh, God, that so glow. Yes. Yeah. If, yeah. Uh, if I wasn't stuck in Germany for many reasons, I'd be there right now. Awesome. Okay. Well, we'll miss you. We'll we'll, uh, we'll uh, hold out hope that you can join us at some time because I'd love to meet you in person. That Proto Model for Dice is very cool. Yeah, it is very cool. Yeah. Um, you know who else is cool? You two. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Oh, I really, yeah. this guy, I really appreciated the chance to talk yeah. and kind of share so, an insight and to be able to just kind of look at a different facet of the business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great. Yeah. Uh, would you come back and visit sometime? Yeah. Maybe when we're in a little more efficient capacity and uh, yeah. I would love to have you. Yeah, of course. Now, Malcolm, it's, it was great to meet you. Um, I know that you're new to the biz, yeah. but I'm, you know, <laughs> stick with me, kid. <laughs> well, this is a good set of people to have. Like, one thing I want to mention just very quickly before we go is that I really appreciated the work Skylar did on the Google Wake uh -huh. in particular. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, there were a couple of things like, um, there was a section where uh, it was written in like, what? Get a little closer to the mic. It was written in like first person present throughout and it didn't really come together. And Skylar pointed it out and I tried it and I looked at it, but, but she was right. And so the, the book was better for it. So a lot of adjustments like this are, you know, really the part of the sausage baking that leads to a good game in the end. Right, uh, right. Have both the development and you know technical sensitivity, kind of you know reader advocate end of it. That's a really good word for it. Yeah. Advocate, but reader advocate. Or that is really advocate. good. Yeah, that is really good. Being able, yeah, yeah and it's it, it's a lot of it's as much about use, uh, usability as it is about yeah. anything else, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's and it's so different going because like when I would used to work with you know novels or literature or whatever. You know, style can be very different, but yeah. it's kind of out there or whatever. But when you work with this, you really do have to think about, you know, as a player and you're, you know, you're opening yeah. it up and you're going through it, how much style can kind of be in there? Because sometimes that can maybe get the way. and confused. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It so needs to, to be, it needs to be something that invites, it invites you to participate, right? And that's a little different from, well, with an author, right? With a kind of static, with static fiction, static fiction. Man, that makes me sound like a real. I'm gonna say bit. static fiction. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, with mere static fiction. Like, I like know? it. That's better. Yeah. There's a commitment that's already assumed, but never mind all that. It's time for us to go, but it's also uh, not the last time you'll see us. We'll be hanging out. Um, we're gonna have Skylar back on. Uh, of course, we'll have Malcolm. We can't. We couldn't do without him. Um, but I wanna say thank you, everybody. You are all phenomenal. We love you dearly, and we'll talk to you soon.